Last Sunday, reputed mobster Frank DeChico was blown up by a car bomb in front of a Brooklyn restaurant. Today, he was buried in an unconsecrated grave after the Catholic Church refused to give him a mass. As Frank Grimes reports, even his boss would not come out to pay his respects. This morning, Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Friends and family of Frank DeChico carry his body from the Carpaccio funeral home. Sunday afternoon, also in Bensonhurst, a police officer had carried DeChico's body from this car. DeChico, second in command of the Gambino organized crime family, had opened the passenger door. A bomb under the front seat exploded, killing him. Why? The most popular law enforcement theory, revenge. The Chico, once loyal to former Gambino crime boss Paul Castellano, was suspected of having helped plan his murder in Manhattan last December 16th. Also killed was Thomas Bellotti, the man who was next in line for Castellano's job. With Castellano and Bellotti out of the way, John Gotti, an alleged Gambino family member who had been at odds with Castellano, allegedly took over and appointed De Chico as his underboss. Rival factions within the family resented this, so the hit. Seven fucking months. Seven I know, I know. They don't let you live, I know. They don't let you live. Speaking of time, we got the three o'clock on midtown. What time is it now? Time to go. No, no. Come I can't break away. Come to Manhattan? Yeah. Good. You know what? See you later. We do it tomorrow. Yeah. Jimmy, thanks for having me. Yeah. Put it on Sammy Stan. Sure. Sure. So, Cheech, you know, want to drop me off Mulberry? Yeah, go ahead, let's go. You want to talk about Fourth Avenue, whatever the fuck it was? What Fourth Avenue? Fucking Buick. 